Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? As you have heard the news, the Milwaukee Brewers have just signed Kane to five years, $16 million. If you have been paying attention to my previous video, I said Jacoby Ellsbury is not a Granderson. He is not a Austin Jackson. What do I mean by that? They got paid less. They got paid around $5 million or whatever. Now, with Kane signing, he just increased the value of Jacoby Ellsbury. And I don't mean the value of 22 to $20 million a year. I'm saying $8 million to $11 million. A team that is looking for a closer will take Jacoby Ellsbury out of the Yankees' hands. And people, when I said 48 hours... I meant it. Jacoby Ellsbury is not going to be a New York Yankee. All the moves are being made in Major League Baseball that signify that Jacoby Ellsbury is a goner in New York. People blowing up my Twitter. Oh, you said 48 hours. Yeah, 48 hours. Just because it hasn't been announced doesn't mean it's not going down. Have you seen Twitter, actually? All these people that are racist, if you ask me, they have cloned accounts of Salmonetti Report and literally has like four fake accounts running around. And all they do all day is spread disinformation. So these trolls, these idiots that can't do their proper investigations, think me and Salmonetti Report are putting out fake news, which we are not. We have a good track record. So... And yeah, I don't like throwing this word around, but I call them racist because the majority of them are not even from New York. They're from Nebraska. They're from Maine, etc. It's it's really weird on Twitter. I'm just about to just abandon Twitter and just update you guys here, Facebook, and NYYNews.com. And it's pretty pathetic that these people are Yankees fans, considering New York City as a whole is a mixing pot, and they're just pathetic. I don't call them Yankees fans. I like Literally, if you do my work and you've seen these people, like literally, I've been around here for 13 years reporting on Yankees news, and I've never seen anything like it. It's a different beast on Twitter. You're going to get a lot of weirdos on there. Just warning you guys. If you ever start a Yankees blog or whatever, I'm warning you right now. Twitter is not the platform you want to utilize for it. Just a heads up. So, yes, Jacoby Ellsbury, again, like I said, will not be a New York Yankee. Expect you, Darvish, to pick a team very soon. Expect the hot stove to pick up. Christian Yelich, again, another outfielder that has been taken off the market. The Brewers have just sped up the process of Jacoby Ellsbury being shipped out of New York. And like I said about the money aspect, that deal for Kane has put Jacoby Ellsbury back on the market when it comes to dumping salary. If you could dump him and have another team pay $8 million for him or 11 that's a steal. Also, people are going around, oh, just include Clint Frazier with uh, Jacoby Ellsbury. No, you include a closer and a mid-level prospect with Jacoby Ellsbury. Maybe two mid-level prospects, but not a top prospect. Because, listen, getting a closer in this market, it's not easy. And the Yankees, like I said, they have literally three of the best top five closers in Major League Baseball, arguably. Also, when my video was released yesterday, John Morosi of MLB Network released an article for MLB.com stating, sources, Yankees could spend another $15 million this season. And he highlighted how, by moving Ellsbury or Robertson, my suggestion, the both of them. You're going to save a whole bunch of money for 2019 or now. Also, the Todd Frazier situation. It's getting really spooky. I don't know why the Yankees are holding out on Todd Frazier if they don't have other things in mind. Remember when Alex Rodriguez was moved to the New York Yankees? That was late in middle February that he was moved. So I don't know why the Yankees are waiting that long. Maybe they have plans with the Baltimore Orioles. I don't know. But if the Yankees had plans to sign Todd Frazier, they would have signed them a long time ago because their payroll as of now is flexible enough to do it.
And as you saw, the Mets signed Jose Reyes to be a utility player. But I don't know. The Mets want to take a gamble with uh, David Wright out there at third. I don't know, man. That guy has some serious injury problems, and it has to do with his neck and his back. That is what retired uh, fielder from Major League Baseball. So the Mets want to take that gamble? I don't know. Uh, Todd Frazier is literally the most affordable third baseman on the market right now. So I don't know. Let's see where Todd Frazier lands. If he lands with the Mets, you might see a blockbuster. Like I said, like I keep repeating, you might see that blockbuster go down. And if this Ellsbury thing doesn't get announced yet, that means the Yankees have something in the works. They're waiting for Todd Frazier to pull that blockbuster button. I'm telling you, do not get impatient. I said 48 hours. Yes, he's really gone. It's imminent. That's what I meant. He's out of here. He's not a New York Yankee. I got an email saying, listen, from a credible source, they said Jacoby Ellsbury is not going to be a New York Yankee for 2018. Anything you hear otherwise is fake. So keep your patience. I know the little stupid trolls out there on Twitter, the 11-year-olds on there that need to be supervised, if you ask me, by their parents, don't have patience. Relax. Things are going to get done. Ellsbury is not a New York Yankee. Take my word for it. You will see. Like I said, this Todd Frazier thing keeps dragging along. It keeps dragging along. Let's see what he does first. If he does something where he goes to the Mets or another team, that's when you see the Baltimore Orioles, the Diamondbacks, engage in a three-way trade, period. What other third baseman are you going to get out there? Also, you Darvish. Stay tuned to that. Let's see where he signs. Like I said, all the backup plans for the Yankees are with the Diamondbacks. They don't get you Darvish. They make a trade for Corbin. So pay attention. Let's be patient. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share these videos. Like them. And again, I thank you for the support. Check out NYYNews.com.